Yes, I'm not dead. I'm actually still alive and very much um, being ravaged by the joys of strep throat. For those of you that don't have access to my bulletin system slash friends list thing, um, I have been down for the last two weeks plus with strep throat. And that's the reason why I haven't produced any videos and the most that I've done as of late is simply comment on people's other, other people's videos. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I was still alive and I am watching and uh, I've gotten a bunch of different uh, comments. I really appreciate everybody with the well wishes. For those of you that didn't know that I have been inf uh, afflicted, I appreciate all the well wishes and um, I hope to be able to be back up to fully fully functional <laughs> um, so that I can produce more video nonsense for you guys to watch. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff that's been coming out. <coughs> a lot of it not so interesting. Um, that, not, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm talking about your video. If you have some sort of self-conscious issue that's uh, it's not intended to be uh, reflected upon you and thusly. Um, I do have one thing I'd like to say though and I'd like to get this out now. Um, and you guys are welcome to just say that I'm delusional from being ill or what have you, but um, I just want to make a call out to all of YouTube and ask you guys to step up your game a little. Um, if you're already producing stuff that's fun and interesting to you and has some sort of uh, you know substance and some sort of merit to it, then you're doing what I need you to do, but for the rest of you guys out there that are producing videos that are going on the most popular and the most discussed, what the fuck? Seriously, people, come on. I mean, you know, every time I turn on the most popular or the most viewed, I'd say 85 to 90% of it is complete. It's just, it, you've produced videos specifically to get on the most discussed or the most friggin' popular. You didn't produce a video that's worthy of actually being there. You know, I mean, there are some exceptions to that rule. I've seen plenty of people who have produced solid pieces of material that have gotten on there because they deserve to be discussed and they deserve to be, you know, to, to be watched. And I totally agree with those pieces, but all the other ones, I mean, you know, how many times can somebody make a video about Zeldane headbutton the, you know, the, the Italian soccer player, or the French soccer player? How many? How many? Oh, 40? An entire page of the most discussed list is the fucking Zildane headbutt and every derivative of mankind. Super Mario Zildane, uh, you know, uh, Kill Bill Zildane, Super Saiyan Zildane. Come on, fucking Christ, people. I mean, be, talk about beating a dead horse. Why the hell did you start watching YouTube to begin with? It was to get away from mass media produced crap. And now here we are face to face with it again, except it's not done on a high caliber. It's done in the homes across the nation. You know, if you've got something to say, cool. If you've got material that you want to share, great. If you've got an opinion that you want to espouse upon, I'm, I want to hear it. But I want to hear what you have to say. I want to see what you want to do. I want to see you. I want to see you being you. I want to see you talking about your stuff. I want to see you doing your thing. I don't want to see, oh, the happy puppet show. That'll get people talking. I'll be a racist ass. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Some of the best videos I've seen in the last fucking four months have been stuff that isn't on the best viewed and the most the most viewed and the best the best um, you know rated just by stumbling across them through uh, the the viewing selections of the people that I happen to be associated with because they also know that substance is important you know I mean yes yeah, some of the people that I do associate with are on the most popular list or on the most discussed list regularly and you wonder why that is because the substance that they produce actually has merit and therefore it merits being discussed and it merits being viewed it's not hey I'm a witty fat guy that says stupid things because it's wacky ooh let me grab somebody's name and pull them in and slander them because I don't agree with them and their videos you know what I don't give a fine fuck what you guys do I really really don't I don't fucking care one iota what you guys do as long as you're doing something that's genuine you know, when you start making crap and putting it out there and making, you know, and taking up that space with something that you didn't create because you cared about it, you did it because you were hoping somebody would click on it. I mean, I, go back to TV. Seriously, get off of YouTube and go make, you know, bullshit video. YouTube. YouTube. It is the tube about you. It's about you as an individual. It's about you as a person. And it's about you. And that's what I want to see. I want to see you. I want to see you being you. I want to see you talking about whatever it is that you talk about. Video blog it. 
If you're going to do bits and pieces and stuff, that's fine. You can have your opinion, that's great. You know, you want to talk about something, just let it out. But please, for the love of all that exists in this fucking universe, can you make something that is more real than the crap that's being put out there? Stop riding people's bandwagons. Stop picking fights with other users so that you can get more clicks. Do you honestly hate that person that much? I mean, there's so many different popular YouTubers out there that people slander. I've seen Brooker slandered. I've seen Little Loca slandered. I've seen uh, Lisa Nova slandered. I've seen, uh, you know, Morbeck slandered. I've seen fucking uh, Boheme slandered. I've seen fucking Zen Archer slandered. I've seen Pepistrello slandered. I've seen Dick Ponderous slandered. Hell, I've seen fucking... Um, some lesser-known uh, YouTubers slandered because somebody wanted to, to make a video about them not eloquently expressing their distent, <coughs> distension, excuse me, <coughs> or their disdain, you know. I do not like Brookers, and here is why I feel that her material is low par. I feel that she's pandering to a specific crowd. You know, she wants to hit a, a particular... Um, uh, demographic, and therefore she's doing this, this, and this. These are, you know, this is a well thought out argument, and this is why I personally don't appreciate Brooker's work. But that's not what I see. What I see is, oh, Brooker's is dumb because she does lip syncing and blah, 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 and you, there's no substance to what you're saying. Like I said before, if you're going to slander, if you're going to hate on somebody, have some substance to what you fucking do. You know, hate me, come, bring it to me. Make a bunch of videos about how Raven Laughs is a loudmouth asshole, doesn't know what he was talking about, but at least for the love of all that exists, have some substance to it. I will put it, I will associate your video, your hate video, to whatever video you want, as long as there's a legitimate gripe that you have with me and what I'm saying and what I do. As a matter of fact, if you got a hate video and you want to make it, make it about me. Respond to this video hating on me. If you can do it well, I will give you five stars. I will give you thumbs up. I will compliment you because at least you were well thought out. So that's my challenge to you, YouTube. Since I'm looking for people to create material that's worthwhile, let me give you something. Hate on me, but at least do it with real substance. Because if you can't, what's the purpose of being here at all? If you cannot create something, whether it be positive or negative, if you cannot honestly create something, why the hell are you on here just because YouTube has become a popular thing? <laughs> that's pathetic. Really.